Hi, today we are going to discuss how to draw the isometric figure for the V-fitting. So for that, draw a line here. Okay, mark the point here. Okay, so from that point, take the angles as 30 degrees on left and right side and 90 degrees here. Okay, so as you already discussed, about the drawing of the 50 degrees sorry 50 length on this side this side a rectangle a square and here a rectangle and here also square so I'm drawing directly So this is about the first figure in the V-fitting. Next, I'm going to draw in the second figure. So for that, again, mark the point here. Using the protractor, give the angles. So 30, 90, and 30. Okay, so same in the previous, what we have done, take this point, from to this point draw a length of 48 so 1 2 3 4 8 so the value is up to here okay next this side it is a length of 5 mm so draw up to 5 mm and this side it is a length of 48 so 1 2 3 4 8 48 okay so this side also as it is a V shape portion only at middle part you are going to get the V shape okay so all the four sides three sides first you are going to fill this okay similarly parallel to this line draw up to 48 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 48 so up to here 48 okay so here also you should draw 48 So parallel to this line, mark a point up to 48, okay, and parallel to this line, so mark a length of 5 mm here, okay. So next, so as it is complete a length of 48, we are going to draw 12 this side and 12 this side, remaining portion will be in the V-shape portion. So parallel to this line move the scale to here and give the length draw a length up to 12 so this is up to 12 and from here also you should draw a length up to 12 okay so draw a length up to 12 okay next exactly at middle portion you are going to get the v point so for that so mark the point as as the total length is 48 mark the point up to 24 here also 24 and this length is 48 so i'm dividing it to 24 okay so parallel to this line from this so draw a image just draw lightly draw a line again parallel to this line so from this point draw a lightly okay so 
we have already drawn 12 12 here so from this end points join to this middle portion okay so now from this point to this point draw a line and from this point to this point draw a line so exactly at middle portion you are going to get the v shape so next so parallel to this line make a length of 5 mm here and here and here okay next we are going to close this up to a length of 12 okay so this a length of 12 and this is a length of 12 okay next similarly parallel to this v shape line okay move the scale to this point and draw a line up to this point okay so this is how we are done with the v shape so erase the lines which are drawn lightly okay and dark the actual lines okay so in this figure also we are going to draw the imaginary lines as in this figure so for that first draw this 5 mm line here okay so make the scale parallel to this line and move the cursor sorry move the scale to this point draw the point here that is 5 mm so similarly parallel to this line so move the scale to this point and draw the dotted lines as this is also dotted make that line also to the dotted lines like this okay so similarly parallel to this line move the scale to this point and draw the dotted lines like this okay so this is how we have drawn the figure next we are going to give the dimensions wherever it possible make the figure darker so that we are going to get the exact figure which you want to draw now i'm going to give the dimensions for that draw this extension lines i'm giving dimensions this side first give the angle as 30 degrees as here we cannot able to give so no problem but we, we have to give the angle as 30 degrees exactly okay now coming to dimension sign draw a line parallel to this line okay and next parallel to this line and next parallel to this line so for each and every line give the arrows it should be a length of arrow set should be a length of 3 to 1 and the line length is 48 and for this it is a length of 5 mm and for this line the length is again 48 if possible we can give the dimensions here also now i'm going to give the dimensions okay so we are going to give exactly parallel to this so first give the arrows so arrow should be of length 3 is to 1 so this length is 12 this length is 24 and this length is 12 so in this way we are going to give the dimensions for the v fitting figure okay as we are done with the all diagrams in uh, imaginary lines dimensions and angles now i'm going to give the text like figure name and the units so for that draw a line here 
and give the height as 8 mm so draw another line here okay now I'm going to give the text as V fitting the text should be in capital letters the height should be is 10 mm or 8 mm and width of the text should be 6 mm so this is the V fitting next coming to units I'm writing downwards so draw a line here the text should be of 8 mm and draw a line here okay now I'm giving the text as all dimensions are in mm okay so this is about the v fitting figure so this is the second experiment fitting trade as I have drawn close to the first figure don't draw like this just move a bit aside so that you can see the object clearly okay so this is exact v fitting figure after cutting and this is the figure before doing the experiment so this is before doing the experiment and this is after doing the experiment so this is about the v fitting figure and we'll discuss about other topics in the next session thank you